Hi everyone, Yaka here. We're still trying to take uh, Maxi Bond, the winner of the uh, Summer Champion Master Tour Summer Championship Stacks 2 Ladder. And right now we're doing uh, Insanity Warlock, and that is actually quite good. It's actually a deck that he did lose some matches with, but it's it's somewhat easy to get into. Uh, so let's have a look at the deck he brought to the Masters Tour. And I'll leave a deck code in the description of the deck that Maxi Bond brought to the Summer Masters Tour Championship. Um, the mulligan guide for this one is generally that you want to search for Miracle Salesman, Party Fiend, you want to get a merit uh, Baritone Imp, Crescendo is also good to keep, and then finally, maybe surprisingly, and I know that from a mulligan um, stats that not many are doing it, but one of the highest mulligan kept win rate cards, so you have, to have, you have a higher chance of winning if you keep it in the mulligan, is Popgar. So that uh, might be a surprise also because it's somewhat later in the game, but that is really a stabilization tool for you. The only two matchups which it is lower, it's not bad, but it's lower, is against Priest and Warrior. Worth to keep in mind if you want to search for some maybe some early game and stuff like that. Game plan for the deck is that, you, of course, you want to get on the board rather early. It's also why the... the the mulligan guide actually indicates that you should keep some of your one drops and two drops but then you want to get your fatigue count going there's insanity part behind it you want to bump up the fatigue you want to make sure make sure you don't take too much damage maybe don't drop a fell string half on turn one it's probably not a good idea because you can manage to take a few fatigue points of damage before you actually start to block them it's much better to block a fatigue of six damage and instead healing two than doing a fatigue block on the first one uh, you are a full life and you're just taking one damage. So be mindful of the the blocking options you have with Void Virtuoso and Felstring Harp. Those are the ones that you want to manage in a good way. Also, there's a possibility, if you don't know the deck by now, if you have Popgar, all your uh, Fel spells has, have lifesteal. And that is why then Crescendo, if you're up in the fatigue and your opponent has a board, you can completely reset and get complete and full life restored uh, with Popgar. So that is a really good combo to be aware of that that is actually existing. Otherwise you want to make sure it's also why don't you want to keep the crescendo so you have them but don't blow them off too early. The good ones to keep in because there's also a good combo with the tide pool pupil you want to make sure what you load in that one is a crescendo or maybe an encroaching insanity in order for you to get your opponent's fatigue count up a little bit. Um, yes, I think that is more or less the basic behind it. And then I have a little bit of gameplay, a few matches for you guys uh, to show how really powerful this deck can be on ladder. Ooh, against the rogue. Your soul shall be mine. Mm. Yeah, let's get rid of all of it. Oh, that's nice. Like especially these two, and then I have Crescendo. Healing it. But next turn, Baritone Imp. Alright, that's pretty nice. Usually they're strong a little bit with the AoE. So then I can do this one into Crazed Conductor, and then that is just golden. Some kind of weapon rope, but still, same game plan. I think we are fine. And I have ways of healing up since I have fill string hub. Alrighty. Yeah. Hit, hit that one. The imp gets it. 
Because I don't have all in. I have no nothing else on the board. Wait a minute. Yes, I do. Hello. It might actually just be lethal 20. Yeah, maybe. Three left. So not yet. I'm one off from what I can see right now. But I could fracking maybe into. Oh, yeah. ah, it's just enough. Lazar versus Jaina. Knowledge is power. Oh, oh. Like the crest conductors, but I would really like to get this against mage. That's okay. They do have AOE, but if I get the um, fatigue going, then these can be really powerful. Pop guy also like, and they don't have the. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. Unfortunately, I kind of coin it because it doesn't really make sense for the crazed conductor um, but it's okay I guess I can now <laughs> oh dude I'm gonna get so much fatigue damage but the first crazed conductor I drop it's gotta be pretty good Just gonna fill the board with stuff. Okay, so that is like the spell major. This is crazy. Oh man. Alright. We're good. Could also just drop Popka. And then. What is that? That's gonna be okay. Then the eleven. Eleven. Ah, that is definitely too close for comfort. Let me just get rid of this stuff. He might have no like no way to get rid of it, but. Drop fracking, but I'm not sure what I kind of need right now. I should probably have dropped it anyway. What did he uh, trade into the 3 4 first? I don't know. It just seems like it's scratching the surface. Can ping one. That one? No, he's not playing anymore. Alright. Let's see if we can find like a gem tosser or something like that. Reverberation. No, well, it's just. Just grabbing a tight pool. Sure. We are definitely going in here. And then. Oh, what? We can do a tab. We can rid of that one. We'll do a tap first. Gem Tarzan on six. It's not that likely. 
let's just go in. Still clear a couple of minions here as well. But then if you drops like a chunky minion that is more than three life, then the barrel of slush is but he knows that I have barrel of slush. So like he's just gonna make sure to have a minion. Uh, okay, I might be wrong. Uh, I am wrong. What what is, what is he getting here? Nothing. Dude, what didn't you? At least you had a chance if you did it the other way. Now we're just done. All right. <laughs> 